Hello, in this video we're going to look at hematuria, which is the presence of red blood cells or blood in urine, hematuria. And essentially in this video we're going to talk, look at the causes of hematuria. So if someone presents with hematuria, what are the differential diagnoses? Before we talk about some of the causes of hematuria, let us recap the urinary, um, uh, urinary system between the male and the female and the anatomy. So here is the male and here's the female. Um, so in the male, we have the penis, the prostate, the bladder, ureter, the kidneys, and the adrenal glands. The urogenital diaphragm here separates the prostate and the penis. So here is the internal urethral sphincter at the neck of the bladder. And then you have the external urethral sphincter along where the urogenital diaphragm is. And then obviously the end of the penis is the external um, urethral meatus, where urine comes from, or sperm, depending on what you're doing. All right, so that was the males. Let's look at the female um, now. So here we have the urethral opening, where urine comes from, and vaginal opening um, for sexual activity. Um, and uh, here is the um, fallopian tube for, for uh, the reproductive system and the ovary, where where the eggs are. And here I'm cutting a section because on this side, um, this, will, this is the uterus and essentially the fallopian tube um, comes from the uterus. And I'm drawing the uterus here and the reproductive system, which is the fallopian tube, tube and ovary, because um, some differential diagnosis of hematuria um, you know, um, affect these structures. All right, so that was the male and female urinary system. Now let's just look at um, the causes of hematuria now. And let's just use the male system here, male urinary system. So if someone presents with hematuria, it's important to ask them, do they notice the blood when they stop peeing or at the end of the peeing or throughout? So if hematuria occurs initially or, at, or on terminal voiding, ter like at the end of peeing, the site of bleeding or the cause is probably from the neck of the bladder down. Whereas if the hematuria um, happens from start to finish, so total hematuria, the bleeding mo may most, would most likely originate from the bladder or from the kidneys. So I hope that made sense. Now some differential causes, different differential diagnosis for hematuria include recent urological intervention, such as bladder catheterization, indwelling urethral stent, or a prostate biopsy, a recent prostate biopsy. Um, and prostate biopsy, obviously um, another differential for hematuria would be uh, benign prostatic hyperplasia. And of course, infection of the bladder um, could cause hematuria. So this is known as uteritis. Uteritis can lead to infection of the kidneys itself. And this is referred to as pyelonephritis. Trauma to the kidneys, um, or the ure ureter, or the bladder, or the penis itself can lead to hematuria. Obviously, cancer or growth tumors in the kidneys or anywhere along the, um, uh, the urological system can lead to hematuria. Of course, the functional units of the kidneys itself, which are the nephrons, um, things can cause um, problems in the nephron specifically can lead to hematuria. So a, uh, a very common condition is known as glomerulonephritis or any nephropathy in that for, for that sake. And causes of glomer glomer glomerulonephritis include infections, toxins such as drugs, autoantibodies, so autoimmune disease, diabetes, and hypertension could also lead to um, glomerulonephritis, which is a differential diagnosis for hematuria. Um, nephrolithiasis um, is kidney stones, so uh, kidney stones could lead to hematuria. And then you have, um, obviously, kidney stones that actually lodge in the ure ureter itself, and this is known as urolithiasis. Urolithiasis, um, which are kidney stones in the ureter, uh, are formed by calcium oxalate most of the time, and they lodge in specific sites within the ureter, mainly 
um, the beginning, middle, and end. So this, and these are the sites of actually sites of contraction of the ureter, and that's why the kidney stones most often lodge there. So uh, the the beginning part is known as the pelvo ureteric junction. Then the middle part is the pelvic brim. The third part, which where the ureter enters the urinary bladder, is the vesico ureteric junction. Another differential diagnosis for hematuria um, is a a genetic disorder known as polycystic kidney disease. And this disease uh, forms cysts around the kidneys, which could result in blood upon urination. Now, specifically for the female patient, there are some diseases or some common problems um, that occur for its differential of hematuria. And this includes endometriosis, which is the growth of uterine cells elsewhere in the body. Um, and also there's a there's pseudo hematuria where it's actually just uh, where the female experience uh, where, where a female person experiences their normal menstrual cycle, so menses, or uh, recent intercourse causing bleeding in the uh, re reproductive system can lead to uh, bleeding, possible bleeding on urination because of trauma to the area. Recent vigorous activity can induce hematuria. And lastly, coagulopathies can also cause hematuria because the person is unable to clot properly. Thus, you can have presence of blood in the urine. So, if, so that was the, some of the causes and differential diagnoses of hematuria. Now, what are some investigations that can be performed? If someone presents with hematuria, what investigations would you order? So some investigations include a full blood count. Full blood count is to see if the person is anemic and to check for the presence of white blood cells, the numbers. Um, and high numbers would obviously indicate infection. Then you also have urine dipstick. Urine dipstick, you can then use it to have a microscopic examination of the urine and also culture the urine um, to see if, any, uh, see if any signs of infection, bacterial growth. Then you can also perform coagulation studies, so to check if the patient has any coagulopathies. You can also perform a urinary bladder cancer marker. And usually people the age of 40 who, pre who presents with hematuria, you should always rule out, um, rule out a cancer of the bladder because um, this is often how cancer of the bladder presents and it's often, most often um, in people over the age of 40. And then you can also do a PSA, and this is to this is prostate-specific antigen. So this is to check for any BPH or any possible prostate cancer. And then finally, you can also perform a CT or ultrasound, and these are imaging studies to see how the kidney looks like. Uh, with with these techniques, you can see um, the presence of cysts, yeah, such as in polycystic um, kidney disease. And these investigations are essentially there to help you rule in diseases and rule out some differential diagnoses. So I hope this video made sense and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.